Hi, my name is Karen Ann Dickin. I'd like to introduce to you the Hammy Behind Machines exhibition here at the Lighthouse. Uh, the exhibition is going to be running from the 19th of June to the 13th of July and consists of all the colleges in Scotland um, delivering jewellery design, um, all the HND students and um, all the staff. Um, I set a brief um, for all the students and staff to make a piece of jewellery that's entered and exited the computer at some point in the making process. Um, and the result of that has uh, come to this exhibition uh, is a wide range of jewellery uh, made through um, exciting new technologies like 3D printing, laser cutting, photo etching uh, and laser sintering and much more. My design is um, a set of two brooches um, which have a moving element so the, so the stones basically are free to move within their slots and are moving as you're wearing it and um, I used uh, riveting with 18 karat gold and the main piece is uh, sterling silver oxidized and which is 3D printed basically and cast. I think it's a great opportunity to see um, um, a diversity of pieces, a kind of a big range of different techniques and to, uh, yeah, to let your mind go to something else to, that you yeah, might not have seen before and um, because a lot of people haven't seen 3D printing and haven't seen laser cutting and all these techniques so everybody is kind of more used to um, box standard jewellery and this is kind of thinking out of the box so I think it's a great opportunity for people to come and to see it all. My design is for 3D printed rings and with an element of a cactus inside it that's actually grown out of it. Um, they've been 3D printed, so I designed them on the computer using Rhino, using a design from Venice that I'd thought of for another project. And that's how I got involved with making it in a 3D printer. Um, my design was inspired by the, the new build of the City of Glasgow College, um, the materials and the techniques. Um, so I, I decided to use wood and I laser etched onto the wood the window prints um, quite deeply in and that was through the laser cutter and then I also used um, more traditional techniques. I guess people will see that jewellery is like, there's a much bigger range in jewellery and not just the things that you see in the shops. Mm -hmm.